guys, welcome to Keeping It Simple Crafts. I hope everyone is doing good. Today I'm going to show you how I made this easy and inexpensive fall farmhouse wreath. For this wreath, you're going to need one wood blend wreath. It's a 12 inch wreath from Dollar Tree. You are also going to need some fall floral picks and mine came from Walmart. I have two of the pumpkin and berry pick and they were either 97 cents or a dollar 47 I can't exactly remember and then you're going to need two of the sunflower and berry pick not three just two the flowers from Walmart are mainstays brand and you'll also need some ribbon with wire for a bow and this leopard print ribbon is 2.5 inch width ribbon with wire and I ordered it ordered it online at craft outlet First, you're going to take your two sunflower and berry picks from Walmart and you're going to make a swag. So you're going to place one on the left, one on the right, overlapping the stems, and then you're going to zip tie them together. Make sure you get the zip tie nice and tight. Then now we're going to be adding in at the top, kind of at an angle, you're going to zip tie one of your pumpkin and berry picks on the top, like right corner. You could also use some floral wire if you wanted to. So just make sure you get your zip tie nice and tight. Same on the bottom, we're just adding our pumpkin and berry pick at an angle on the bottom, kind of right side and then you'll want to fluff and kind of bend your swag to shape it to your wreath. There are lots of different ways to make a wreath. I'm just trying to give you some ideas here. You could just take your picks and put some hot glue on the end of them and hot glue them to your wreath, kind of push them into your wreath if you wanted to, but I like to zip tie mine together and make a swag, and then it's real easy to attach to the wreath, and then you can also change it if you wanted to for different seasons or holidays. Next, I'm tying a bow, so let out a tail, make a loop, keep it pinched tightly in your left hand, go the other side, make another loop about the same size as your first loop, check to make sure they're about the same size, Sometimes you have to twist the ribbon to keep the design on top. Keep it pinched tight in your hand. Check to make sure your loops are about the same size. Then go to the other side and make another loop. Now you'll want to have some floral wire close by to wrap it tightly around the center of your bow. I am using 20 gauge floral wire and you can pick it up at Walmart. Michaels, Hobby Lobby, Dollar Tree, places like that. Just make sure you get that wire nice and tight and leave your bow wires nice and long. To dovetail the ends, fold your ribbon in half with the edges to the left side. Go to your folded side, cut away from your fold and that makes the pretty V on the ends. Then don't forget to fluff your loops. Once you have your bow fluffed like you want, you're going to take your little swag that you made, take the wires from the bow, wrap it around the swag then go to the back of the swag and twist the wires. Do not cut the wires off because you're going to be using those wires to attach your swag to your wreath from Dollar Tree. So here I am just wrapping the wires around the wreath going to the back and going to give them a few twists then cut them off short and fold them down. Make sure you go back and fluff the loops on your bow and kind of bend and shape your swag and your wreath is finished. I think I have maybe $8 in this wreath. I may only have $6 in it. I'll have to look and see if I can find my receipt to see how much the flowers were at Walmart. But that's it guys, very simple way to make a farmhouse fall wreath. Now you can make this for any season or holiday. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and family, and leave me a comment. Also, if you have not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you as a subscriber.